And this is the main screen you get as an administrator of Knowledge Tree. But before we go too deep um, and, and start into Knowledge Tree, I want to show you first, just give you the fictional scenario uh, for the structure of our company here. So we're going to use this company, it's a fictitious um, Al could care less about marketing, but he needs to see the receipts from operations as well as have access to his accounting stuff. And then as CEO, I need to know what everyone's doing, um, not to mention have access to certain hidden stuff that nobody else ever gets to see. And even though it says file uploaded successfully, it's not actually there yet. There's one last step. Uh, this is where you, you specify the metadata. And for now, let's just ignore it, but click Save Document to finish. And you can see that it's added that tax form. And if you want, go in and verify that it's there. And there it is. Um, so that was adding a folder and a document. Uh, what I want to show you now is this idea of permissions. And the way it works, Knowledge Tree is locked down by default until you add permissions. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this. The key thing about this is you need to enable it in uh, the administration console. So you go in here, uh, go under System Config client tools and there's a setting called safe mode here that you need to turn off to be I mean basically if you don't do that then web dev does not have the ability to so there you can see everything is there um, a little bit of hokiness if you're on a Mac you'll see that it creates this folder and there's these other files called DS stores so we need to get rid of those um, so I'm going to delete that right and now we can see that OJ, by virtue of the fact he's in both the marketing and operations groups, he should be able to see this folder now. And there it is. But another thing to point out here, aside from the version history, what's really neat is you also get what's essentially an audit trail. Um, and so um, you can, you know, it's not enough just to lock down permissions, um, but you can also get accountability. You can see, right. See, so you can see here that it's it's indexed. It uses Open Office under the under the hood. It's indexed uh, the PDF documents, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets. Um, it also looks in the name of folders. And this is every occurrence of the word sales, you know, both within the contents as well as the names of these things. So you can imagine, I mean, all the dimensions here with date and version number and any kind of metadata you can think of, um, get, you know, taken with that search query builder syntax. I mean, that's really powerful. There's pretty much uh, no limit to the types of queries you can build with. Leave a comment on the blog if you want to ask a question. I'll be happy to try and respond. And tell a friend. I mean, the, the shameless plug here is that we're Jumpbox, and we uh, basically make uh, we make these apps easier to use. You know, Knowledge Tree is open source. You're free to go and set it up from scratch. Uh, but we do make probably the quickest way to get started with it. Um, and we do this for about 40-some applications. We have a lot of free ones available on our site if you want to try them out. But I hope you'll consider purchasing a subscription if you find this to be valuable. So until next episode, ramp up with open source. I'll see you next time.